In this tutorial, I'm sharing with you my top three Python concepts that help you solve real world problems. So if you're having trouble understanding how to break a bigger problem into smaller ones and then solve them, this video is for you. And no, again, this is not my background. So for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to be using the spider ID, which is part of Anaconda. And here on the left side, you're going to be writing your code. And on the right side, we have the console where you're going to be able to see your results. For this tutorial, I have prepared three exercises that are going to take you through logic, list comprehension, and we're also going to do a warm up exercise. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first exercise is going to be the warm up exercise and it says, given two integers a and b return their sum however sums in range 15 to 20 inclusive are forbidden so in that case just return 20. So if you remember one of the first tutorials we did here that covered functions, what we're going to need to do with this particular exercise, we're going to need to create a function. And how do we define that? Well, we define it through def. So we do def and then we're gonna give it a name and that is up to you, but make sure that you name it accordingly to what you're doing. So let's say sum of numbers. And here in parentheses, we're actually gonna give it some numbers. So A and B. So in parentheses, our parameters are A and B. Now let's take a look at what the exercise is asking us. So given two integers a and b, which we have here in parentheses, return their sum. Okay, what we need to do is return their sum. However, sums in range 15 to 20 inclusive are forbidden. So in that case, just return 20. So let's do an if clause. So if a plus b is bigger or equal to 15, and a plus b is smaller or equal to 20, print 20. So this is what we did here. We actually took care of the last clause. So sums in the range 15 to 20 inclusive are forbidden and because they're forbidden, we just need to print 20. Now, in order to finish the if clause, we're going to do here else and make sure that it's the same indentation. So else print a plus b. Now, in order to verify your exercise, you're going to need to call your function. And we do it sum of numbers. Let's give it some numbers, two and three, run that, and we get five. So it went right here on the else part. So else print a plus b because the sum of these two numbers are not between 15 and 20. Let me change these numbers and let me show you what it will do. So let's do 12 and five, run it again and we get 20. Why? The sum here is not exactly 20, but this sum is forbidden according to the problem and it goes right into this clause. So if we got a sum between 15 and 20, we'll just automatically print 20. Okay. This is just a warm up exercise. Let's go ahead and do the next one. So the second exercise covers list comprehension and the exercise says given an array of integers return true if 12 appears as either the first or the last element in the array. The array will be length one or more. So let's think about it for a second. What do we need to do right now is create another function and we do that with def let's call it first last and I name it like this because we need to check whether the first or the last element in the array is equal to 12. So that is just the name I chose for this particular exercise. So def first last inside the parentheses, we need to have an array and let's call it nums. 
and that will be an array you give it later on. So here we have the definition of the function. Now what we need to do is actually check if the first element of the array is equal to 12. So let's do an if clause. We're gonna do this if clause with list comprehension. So if parentheses nums of square brackets zero, because that is the first element in the array, if nums of zero equals 12 or parentheses again, nums of. Now we need to take the last element of the array. And if you remember the last tutorial we made on list comprehensions, the last element of the array is minus one. So nums of minus one equals 12. Then what we need to do is return true. So print true. Else print false. All right, so this was the exercise. Now let's populate an array and see if it actually works. So nums, because that was the name of our array, square brackets, 12, that's what we needed to check, two, three, and 14. That is just some random numbers. And now we need to call our function. So we do first, last of nums. Okay, let's run that. It says true. Why is it true? Because the first element in our array is 12. And where do we check that? Well, we check it in the if clause. So if nums of zero, which is the first element, equals 12, then it will print true. And it did print true. Now let's try not to have it. Let's put one. Run it again and it gives us false. So the first element or the last element of the array is not 12 and that equals false. So it printed false. Let me make some space here because we're at the last exercise. So the third exercise is gonna be based on logic. And it says, let's say you have a very strict schedule of coming to work. You need to create a program that tells you whether or not you're in trouble if you arrive too early or too late at work or more precisely before 8 a.m. and no later than 10 a.m. So let's check it out and see what we can do. First of all, we need to create a function and we define that through def. Now let's give it a name. Let's call it work trouble. So work trouble and we need the hour, right? So we need to check the hour. So hour, that is gonna be our parameter for this function. And what we need to do right now is create an if clause again. So if parentheses hour smaller than eight, right? Because we need to check whether or not you arrive at work earlier than eight or hour bigger than 10, then print, let's do a string here and have some fun. Oops, you are in trouble. All right, else print, you came to work on time. Okay, so this is the exercise. What we need to do right now is call our function and see if we're in trouble or not. So we do that by work trouble. And now let's give it an hour. Let's give it an hour before eight or after 10, just to see if we're in trouble or not. So let's do seven run that and it says oops you're in trouble but if you do for example nine you came to work on time all right so these were three python concepts that help you solve real world problems this was it for today i really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one mm -hmm.